Next question is from M Tino 10. How important is having a lower back arch when chest pressing? Are there ways to improve having a stronger arch? Well, since M-tino Justin has the best. Yeah, Just, Justin's always working on his arch. Yeah, he's oh, the, yeah, since he has the best one, we should ask him. I'm going to get a tattoo. <laughs> yeah. Watch out, you guys. This, <laughs> helps, this helps with booty pics more than anything else. Yeah, no. Yeah. no, so when you lay on your back flat, you'll have this natural arch in your low back. Don't try to flatten that down. You want to bring it up just a little bit, tighten your body. Now, what that does is it allows you to bring or helps you bring your shoulder blades down and back and stabilize them so that you can press heavy weight. It actually is safer for your shoulders to to press this way. It works the chest better as well. So this is that arch in your bench press is an important part of the form. Now, power lifters will exaggerate that to shorten the range of motion or to maximize leverage. If you're a power lifter, totally fine. But if you're a regular lifter, just do the natural arch, arch brace yourself Bring the shoulders down and back and stabilize the shoulders. That I, is part of form. I actually don't like cueing this at all. It, I cue the shoulder blades. Mm-hmm. It, that creates the natural arch. Right. If you tell people about the arch, they think about their low back more than they think about what you really should sure. be thinking about. This isn't about your low back. This is about your pulling your shoulder blades back and down. When you pull your shoulder blades, anybody listening right now can do it in your car or sitting in a chair or whatever you're out there. Headlights. Pull, yeah. Pull, pull and squeeze your shoulder blades back and down. And when you do that, you'll feel that your your low back naturally arches. Don't think just about at arching the low back. That's right. a bad cue. And I think mm. it's a it's a bad way to teach somebody this. You're natu- everybody has a natural arch. Yeah, no lay flat what. on the floor. Yeah. yeah. You'll naturally have it. Yeah, and some more than others. Okay. Justin. But <laughs> yeah. But by you, you guys are so jealous. Cueing the shoulder blades back and down, it's gonna put a a perfect arch in your back that you don't need to be focused on it any more than that and the only reason to focus on getting a more extreme one is if in your if you are in the sport of power lifting and so you're trying to create more leverage it will give you more leverage to get an excessive arch but that more, doesn't compute to more gains more leverage definitely everything you said but also don't forget the leg drive and, and that's just to be more effective with your distribution of force and to be able to generate more force and uh, the more stable your body feels uh, in that position yes you're going to have a natural arch because of exactly what Adam said with uh, you know bringing those shoulder blades back and down but also too you want to be able to support everything by adding in your legs as, as another component. 